At their hideout in New Jersey, the Sinister Six are running exercises with their new weapons in an abandoned warehouse. Dr. Octopus wants to see what his partners are capable of with the new firepower, but the Vulture isn't buying it. He argues that they are all supposed to be partners in this and not Autos lackeys. Electro tries to calm him down, but Vulture becomes suspicious that Electro might be loyal to Dr. Octopus. Meanwhile, Peter wakes up at home under the care of his wife, Mary Jane. He assures his wife that he is fine and that his cybernetic arm is only a cast to help heal a hairline fracture he sustained earlier. He tells his wife about his ongoing attempts to stop the newly reformed Sinister Six, particularly the most recent attempt to stop them with the cyborg known as Deathlock. Exhausted, all Peter wants to do is rest, but when he finally looks at his wife, he asks her what she is doing. Back in New Jersey, the Vulture is becoming increasingly paranoid. Since the Sandman had been turned into glass earlier, the Vulture fears that one of his teammates might betray him in the same way. In Manhattan, Mary Jane is sewing up a new Spider-Man costume since the only one left, that he hasn't destroyed, is his black costume. Peter is concerned that she'll make the eye holes too small or forget the red spider symbol on the back, but she assures him that it will be made to the letter. While in New Jersey, the other members of the Sinister Six become concerned about the Hobgoblin's mental state as his religious mania is reaching a fevered pace. Dr. Octopus assures his teammates that once their mission is complete, the Hobgoblin will be dealt with. At the Parker home, Peter finishes freshening up, and the couple are having a mundane conversation about their tastes in music. When they start talking about movies, it reminds Mary Jane to tell Peter that the director for the upcoming Arnold Schwarzenheimer movie wants to cast her for the part. Meanwhile, the Sinister Six have finished preparing for their true mission, attacking and taking over a Hydra-controlled satellite. Before they leave, Hobgoblin asks what they should do with their former teammate, Sandman, who is still trapped in glass form. Dr. Octopus responds by shattering the Sandman. In New York, Mary Jane tells Peter that she is taking the role. This upsets him, because he is uncomfortable with the idea of her having to do nude scenes in the film. Peter is concerned about everyone they know that will see her nude when the movie is released. He is also worried about potential stalkers, such as Hal Goldman, who is now in prison. Mary Jane is made furious by her husband's lack of support. Meanwhile, Solo has recovered from his wounds sustained during his last clash with the Sinister Six. This is only a minor setback and he is determined to track down Dr. Octopus and end his life. Later, Spider-Man is putting on his new costume and is pleased that it fits perfectly. Despite the fact that Mary Jane is still upset with him, she tells him to be careful when news reports that the Sinister Six are on the move again. When he tries to call the Fantastic Four or the Avengers, he discovers that they are out of town. Taking the weapon that can convert Sandman back to normal, Spider-Man decides his best chance is to locate the Sandman and free him. While at the remains of Care Labs, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents are digging through the debris. One of them finds Deathlock who had been buried under a pile of rubble during his last clash with the Sinister Six. Although the cyborg is alive, his body still needs to run repairs after his systems were compromised by Electro's powers. While at the Manhattan facility where Hydra controls their satellites, the Sinister Six attack the terrorist group. Outside, the authorities have gathered to try and contain the situation. When Spider-Man arrives he is surprised to see that the crisis has also drawn out the Hulk, Ghost Rider, and Sleepwalker. The group agrees to work together and storms that facility. The heroes engage their foes, but Ghost Rider is ambushed by Dr. Octopus. While Sleepwalker is destroying the Sinister Six of robots with his eye beams, Electro is able to ambush him as well. Ghost Rider goes after the Hobgoblin, leaving Dr. Octopus for the Hulk. As the battle rages, Sleepwalker suddenly fades away, much to the surprise of his teammates. This is because his human host, Rick Sheridan, has been awoken by his dog Rambo, who needs to go out. Meanwhile, Spider-Man's cybernetic cast is blasted off his body, which is just as well because the hero's arm is fully healed. However, the tide of the battle is turned when Dr. Octopus unleashes the sixth member of the Sinister Six, the massive alien known as GOG.
Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like, comment and share this video to support us. See you on the next comic review videos.